Hello. Today I want to make a dish that I fell in love with in Vietnam. Vietnam is amazing. The first lake that, that we're staying by is either. called Huang Kim. Yes. Huang Kim. I don't know what this one's called. It's called Duck Lake. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, for one, loved it. In fact, I miss it every day. Couldn't get enough. That brings me back to the dish I want to make today. It's called, and I need to find the right marks on the words to get this pronunciation correct. Cha Ka La Vong. It's from a 100-year-old restaurant in Hanoi. When we were there a few years ago, CNN was there filming an ad. We had to wait for them to finish to get our table. Um, but that, that was pretty neat to see them filming this ad with people trying the food, and like, eat it, eat it. Look happy, it's delicious. Eat it again, talk to your husband. So anyways, it's not really street food since it's in a restaurant, but it's definitely not an extensive menu. They have one item. Makes ordering pretty simple. Now this dish, it's got a lot of flavors coming together, but it all comes together to make a harmonious, unique experience. It's got charcoal fish that's been marinating in turmeric, galangal, fish sauce, or shrimp paste if you want to be more authentic, yogurt, that's then fried in oil along with dill, and green onion, and peanuts, and it's all served with little bowls of rice vermicelli noodles and you dip it in this pungent sauce that's also made from shrimp paste. It's so good. All these flavors coming together sound crazy? Well, it's awesome. Let's do this. First thing I need to do is get some catfish. I'm looking for catfish. I can smell durian. Have you ever smelled durian? <laughs> it all up, make sure it's all mixed so it'll marinate evenly. I got the fish marinating. I'm going to get this fire going because we want to charcoal our fish for the first part of the cooking process. You don't have to charcoal like this. It's a little more trouble, it takes more time, but it definitely adds flavor and it makes it more authentic. You could do this part in the oven. All right, now that we got the fire going, charcoal's gonna be getting hot. Let's go back inside and I'll show you how to prep the rest of the stuff for the second part of the cooking process. Okay, now I'm gonna get the, what else do we need? We need the dill, green onions. I need my notes. <laughs> some dill, some green onion. Use the herbs for later. A little Fresno chili. I'm gonna put in the sauce with shrimp paste and some other things I'll show you soon.
Last time, I forgot to lock this little thing here. And when I flipped it, all the fish fell out all over the grill. Fortunately, I didn't lose any. But it wasn't very fun. Yeah, you want to hear that sizzle. Went a little more charcoal color on this one. See, it's a little charred here, getting the color there, but I don't have it there yet. Now we have to get ready to fry this, and then we can eat it. So let's do that. Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> Peanuts. My dill and my green onion. About a quarter inch, half inch of oil. I'm using peanut oil. I ran out of vegetable oil. Peanut oil is good for frying. And it's kind of messy. It splatters everywhere. It makes a big mess. It's not that fun to clean up. I just cook it and eat it. Turning it up a bit, keep that temperature up. You don't want it to get too low, because then your fish just gets greasy. It soaks up all that oil. You don't want that. Peanuts. Put those in. And then the dill and green onion. Now typically this is done right at the table. That's how they do it at the restaurant. They have a hot pot sitting at your table, and this thing is all frying right there. And you bring this, dump it in, and you just start eating it right away. But this isn't a restaurant. You can do it however you want. So we're gonna serve this with a mix of Vietnamese-style herbs. But just very fresh, very herbal. And Lisa's getting some Thai basil out of our herb garden. We're gonna have that with it too. And these are really just for, you know, topping your, your fish and noodles and you just sprinkle some of this on top of it as you, you tear it up to pieces. Uh, right now I'm going to make the sauce too. Some sweet cooking wine. A little bit of sugar. Wow, it came out really good. It's like a taste of Hanoi at home. One teaspoon. All this needs. Oh, oh, I know why. Yeah, let's get that closed for now. Hey, you guys want to smell this? I want to smell. Oh, 